Hello, the Neon King here, and today I am talking about EverQuest 2. And it has come to my attention that some of you are still playing EverQuest 2 with no macros, just clicking each spell manually. Now, if this is you, your character is not being used to its full potential. Now, what is a macro? A macro is one button that you will make that when pressed will activate a list of spells and combat arts. So, how it works. I usually have about 2-5 to five macros depending on the character, and here's a chart to help. As you can see here, real quick, I will bring up my next page. Alright, as you can see here, the first macro I usually make is a single target DPS macro. And uh, here's what you'll do to make this yourself. <clears throat> Alright, so um, when you start playing, start by finding a regular damage to target skill. Right click it and create macro. So it will, it'll, I'll, it'll probably look like... Um, It'll probably look more like this when you start. So I'll do it on here. So let's see what this skill is. This says inflicts um, damage on target. Yeah, so that's what you want to do. You want to find one of those. Uh, it's, they say inflicts, inflicts damage on target. Hit create macro. And then, uh, then you've created your macro with that skill still in it. Thunderbolt uh, 6 or whatever the fuck. Is VI 6 or VI 11? No, XI is 11. Ha! Okay. So, um, I usually name this one DPS. Um, you can, uh, name it whatever you want. It's just, um, uh, just as long as you, you know, know what it is. Uh, okay. So, I, I rename it DPS, and then you can click, uh, click off here real quick. Click K on your keyboard, and it brings up your knowledge book or your spell book. And you can find your spells and combat arts, uh, in which you'll look through. You'll go to sort, and you're gonna go to level. That way, it sorts it by the maximum level. So no matter what level you are, you're always gonna have the skills that you want to be using. So you hit OK, and it changes that, and then you find the ones that are only damage on target. See, this one's damage on targets and area effect now you're gonna want to put that one in a different macro so uh, this one's DPS it's gonna be only single target damage so you're gonna find uh, um, all your single target damages that one's area effect as well it looks like uh, furies have quite a bit of area effect um, uh, skills but uh, on target yeah see that one's an on target see and then you'll fill this up with every single one of those every single um, single DPS skill you have and you're gonna click OK make sure you click OK or it will not save this click OK and then you have your DPS macro uh, which uh, usually would look something a little more like this your DPS macro if I go to edit it has all of my single target DPS skills in it All right. Now, okay, so, um, and you'll notice that <clears throat> my main macros are lined up with my key binded, my key, key bound um, hotbar. So it goes one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. And once you click your skill, uh, once you click your keyboard, say one, it will start activating those skills that you have set in there. Um, and for other macros do the same but be sure to separate single target and AOE for both damage and heals and give taunts its own macro for easy uh, tanking uh, macros are made to help you focus on other aspects of the game such as movement placement and curing and um, specific targeting as well as mac maximizing DPS and heal efficiency so um, if you're a tank um, you'll be able to charge into battle with just your one two freeing up your mouse uh, to click on targets or specific spells in your hotbar to help you or your group While at the same time moving the mob in front of the group or targeting a merc or you know, whatever you need to do um, It just makes it easier. So um, this technique also allows you to have um, a more organized hotbar Better character view without blocking hotbars and uh, just a bit more comfortable gameplay and Macros can also be made to do other things like send commands or send messages through chat Here's an example right here. I'll just go ahead and hit K. I'll go and bring out any old skill because it's not really gonna matter. I'm just using it as a macro template. 
I'm gonna go here, erase that skill so there's nothing in it. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna rename it, um, say hi. All right, and then I'm gonna add a step forward slash say hi. And then hit okay. And then every time, every time you click that um, macro, actually here, let's go ahead and go edit real quick and let's change this just so I know what it is. <clears throat> um, that just changes the icon. You're gonna hit your um, high macro, and it's gonna uh, send out that command, which uh, you put as forward slash high. All right. Now, if your hot bars. Um, if your hot bars look, uh, you know, not the best, just right click on one of your hot bars and press unlock hot bar. Um, come on. Right click. It looks like this one's already unlocked. Um, then you're going to drag it. You're going to go up to one of the corners or the sides and you see how it has the drag icon. You're going to, or the, you know edit icon you're gonna move right there and you're gonna make four so it's a box of four and then three down and then you're gonna want to put this box over here on the corner and so on you're gonna put them all uh, all in order down here I usually have uh, four to five boxes down here and then my main box on top I'll show you right here on my other tune real quick all right so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I have actually six boxes and then my main bar on top. And you're gonna wanna make sure your main bar is your key bound bar with your one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Um, and uh, when you're, d well actually, go to hot bar settings. When you have all this set up like this, go to hot bar settings and click allow draggable icons on every single one of your hot bars. It wasn't on that one for some reason, but that's so you can move your hot or, or your hot keys whenever you need to. And then when you're done with that, you want to go through, right click on them, and then hit lock windows. This one's already locked, but you want to lock all of them down so they can't be moved. Uh, you know, because while you're in combat, you're pressing all these buttons. If you accidentally click on the corner and drag up, your whole hot bar is going to be messed up. So you want to make sure you lock those down once you have these in, in this order. So this is actually. Um, the setup that I use and so far um, so far I think it looks the best um, yeah so um, I think that's it uh, we've gone over um, we've gone over macros and how to set up your hot bars and all that um, I guess uh, yeah uh, if you like this video or found it at all helpful please subscribe and click the bell icon and let me know what you thought in the comments in the section of this video I'm glad to see people still loving in Q2 Let's bring it back. That's all for today. I will now show gameplay of different characters with a different order of macros. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time.